First week in ordinary time, January 14, Saturday. First reading, a reading from the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 12 to 16. Brethren, the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And no creature is hidden from his sight, but all are naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must give account. Since then we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast our confession, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Mark chapter 2 verse 13 to 17. At that time, Jesus went out again beside the lake, and all the crowd was coming to him, and he was teaching them. And as he passed by, he saw Levi, the son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And he rose and followed him. And as he reclined at table in his house, Many tax collectors and sinners were reclining with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. And the scribes of the Pharisees, when they saw that he was eating with sinners and tax collectors, said to his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? And when Jesus heard it, he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. A reflection. The most effective way to communicate with others is through words. The words we speak represent us and we can be held accountable for what we speak. By the same logic, God's word stands for God himself. God can truly discern the thoughts and intentions of the human person and his call is irresistible. Jesus is God become human. Jesus calls Levi the tax collector who immediately follows him. As he is human like us in every way, Jesus is able to understand human feelings and aspirations. Jesus is subject to temptations like us. The difference is that we yield to temptations, but not he because he is sinless. Jesus is our high priest, but his motto is service. He is not reluctant to call a tax collector his disciple and has no hesitation to eat with tax collectors and sinners. It is to them that he ministers. Amen.